How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. You know, lately I've been thinking about making these videos, like making a video once in the week and then one on the weekend. Posting on Saturday and then posting one like midweek. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? The videos that I want to produce in the week are basically me just talking to you guys just straight on. One on one. I'll be tackling just all kinds of different conversations that I kind of want to talk about. Some of them are have been just like topics I've been finding online. There has been like, I found this one thing that said, how can I get happier and vlog more? It's not me trying to solve the equation. It's just me trying to start the conversation. So I would love for whoever watching this to like kind of write in the comments what you guys think are your number ones and twos and this is pretty much what I think I mean being happy it's all in the mind it's all the way you treat your every day and it's really funny because today is like really rainy and that that's the reason why I'm inside I kind of want to do this like every week I want to go outside I want to go uh, go for nature walks while we're, ha we're having this con conversation between us I think it, like I think it would be really good just because like as we're walking through the forest or like like just na these nature walks that I want to do. Obviously, some days are, are be like horrible because it's like like today it's raining and I won't be able to get outside. I think if I'm consistently posting, it'll help me grow as a channel. It'll help uh, you as a viewer get to know me a little bit more and me get to know you guys more um, as you guys comment below and hopefully share. A lot of times, like if I'm having a shitty day, I find going outside. As much as everyone says, you know, you should go outside, it helps and that, it actually does help. So if you're having a terrible day today, I'm sorry, that sucks. Uh, but at the same time, you know, you could, you can try to change your day by going outside. Just go outside for like 30 minutes. If you're at work, take your 30, go outside, go walk around. Uh, if you have a mall nearby or like my work's near the water, uh, even if you have the car, just go for a ride. It does change your mood quite a bit. It resets your brain. Like I was talking to somebody at work and I was saying like halfway through the day, I like to just go out on my lunch just because it splits the day up in half and what all the craziness that happens in the morning, that break kind of resets my brain and then the second half of the day is like a lot easier to deal with. I mean, mind you, like being outside, there's like vitamin D, there's the sun, that all helps. The other thing too is if you can do this, like once a week I play ball hockey. That once a week, Makes me so happy to go out of the house, go with friends, play a sport I love to play. It really does make me happy and I look forward to it every week. Looking forward to something is what makes you happy, I think. Activities, sports, any of that, like all that stuff. I don't know what it, I don't know how it, I'm not a, I don't know anything really like, like you know what it does to the, the brain or whatever, but it does make you feel better and, and it makes you wanna, you know, wake up in the morning and do stuff. And the other thing is being able to sleep. I know like, you know, being a creator on YouTube, we tend to not really sleep that much because we're constantly editing, but sleeping actually helps a lot. So if you can, like I used to take naps. <laughs> when I used to work, I used to take naps on my breaks. I'm laughing because it's like, I kind of slept a little too long, but those naps changed everything. I went back to work all how happy with the skip of my step. I, I find like if you are like really tired, it, it doesn't help. I know it's really hard. Some people have kids and like, you know, kids are keeping you up awake in the, in the middle of the night and you know, it's easier said than none. And some people just are night owls like I am. But I find like if I do sleep a, a full night and I get a full like eight hours, I need more than eight hours. I am a better person. I am a happier person. Now the other side of the question was how do I vlog more? That's a hard question too because vlogging more means that you're trying to vlog more often. So if you're already doing it, if you're doing it once a week, it's hard to squeeze in another day. And that's the reason why this is the reason why I'm doing this is because I would like to include another day in my new schedule. 
you know, my 2020 vision, I need to do two, two videos a week because by the time that Saturday comes around, I, I feel like my whole channel gets like, it loses momentum. So I need something in the middle of the week to kind of like, you know, be able to promote something and talk and, you know, and this is a great way of getting to know people. So this is how I'm doing it. It, it. Realistically, if you can do it, that's good because, you know, I'm trying to be realistic. So I'm adding one more day to the week. I'm not saying, oh, 2020, I'm going to start shooting, uploading every day, I'm making daily vlogs. Like for me, that would be absolutely impossible because I'm trying to juggle freelance work. I'm working at work work. And obviously I want to spend time with my wife. I want to like do stuff, you know, I got ball hockey and not to mention that all, every time I shoot, every, you have to edit and editing always takes, you know, a few hours, you know, four to eight hours. Sometimes those crazy edits take way longer. So that takes up like your whole night yeah somebody once said to me it was like you gotta plan your vlogs like it, it, it's a it's a marathon not a race and it's true in the sense that like you have to plan longevity like you want to be posting for years to come so twice a week maybe is doable versus thinking that you're gonna do it every day you want to vlog more so really the the part two of that question is like when are you gonna edit you know, so yeah, you're gonna shoot. So, okay, let me let me take you guys into this little like behind the scenes thing. I'll show you what I'm looking at. So this is my setup, right? Light, camera, yeah, this is my living room. So the idea that I have is basically I'm shooting, I'm going for lunch, let's say on Tuesday, I go for lunch, I go outside, I go for my nature walks, I film this, I have like maybe 30 minutes to shoot it, you know, come up with a topic the night before, kind of can make a few notes, and then the next day at lunch, I'm gonna have to come home from work and put in, you know, a good 45 minutes of editing. So ideally, that's why I like this idea that I'm just talking to you guys to the cameras, because hopefully I could edit it quickly and still put it up within the week and then still give myself some time to edit my videos that come up on Saturday. There you go. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you guys had a good time watching this one and I would love to know or what else you guys want to talk about. You guys keep your vlog life life. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next week for another vlog.